mulching, but I had a question on my YouTube about this hydrangea. Um, this is the vanilla strawberry hydrangea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of different areas in my garden where I grow this variety and show you how different the blooms are in each condition I've placed the shrub. They're the same exact variety. They just have different blooms, different sizes, and it has a lot to do with the conditions you put them in. I really believe that it's, it's what's going on here in my garden. The vanilla strawberry hydrangea shrub featured here is along my driveway. It was planted in the autumn of 2010. These are the first vanilla hydrangea strawberries I owned. This landscape area has been through a lot over the past five years with new driveway construction and a few drought summers. The shrubs are located under a giant maple which likes to hog the sunshine and the rain. This shrub only receives the hot sunshine in late, late afternoon, evening, and thus the blooms are not as intense cranberry pink like the full sun varieties have. As we take a look at the other shrubs on my property in this video, you'll notice these blooms are much smaller than the other shrubs. This vanilla strawberry hydrangea mass planting features three shrubs. These were planted in the summer of 2017. They receive full sun and a nice mulch mixed with some manure in the early spring. This year, the blooms have become a deep pink, unlike last year, and I think that was mainly because of all the rain we've had this year. This guy's my rebellious one. He's got more vanilla than the strawberry color. If you are looking to make a statement in your garden landscape, this is the perfect example of how to use the vanilla strawberry hydrangea. I have a nice grass border in the front that keeps your attention until the blooms start arriving in late June. Let's head out to the front where I have another vanilla strawberry hydrangea that was planted the same year, 2017, this one is shaded from the morning till about noon and the blooms are not quite as big as the full sun, but the color is just super vibrant. I was late at mulching and these were kind of being smothered by the weeds shortly after I pruned this shrub in early spring. It could also use a nice layer of organic matter like the full sun mass planting up by the house. All right, so there you have it. There's my opinion and how my vanilla strawberry hydrangeas grow in my property here in Hardiness Zone 5B, Ohio. And I hope you'll reach out to me on social media. I'm at Bren Haas, I'll spell it here. And uh, of course, please check out my website at brenhaas.com. I hope to share more with you soon. Have a great day. Get out in the garden.